There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing... Oh! I didn't know it could do that. Oh! Very clever. Always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Is there truly no other way? Not they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. A tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmare. In this case, Freyr's. Knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? 
This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess something from Hank. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. Above the door, there's a light crystal. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. It's the light! Oh. Ow! I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, oh. fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Now the bridges are gone. 
I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more <laughs> dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem. <gasps> More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Here, get back. <gasps> they keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. <clears throat> hey. That looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. No. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky.
got to be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? <laughs> I don't mean to speak out of turn. The white marble wall behind that grave. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Glad we explored. Oh no. Back to it then. Continue our ascent, yes. Right side! Incoming! Burn it down! Behind you, brother! favorite of Gavassia's poems, brother. Why would I choose a favorite? <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side. Whoa! Tear can really jump. Getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elf so much control over the temple. Guess that's on us. We must have anointed a new temple guardian, Sparkle Yoha's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Guess he's in the light now, too. Done. The light door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. This 
mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. Let's join them. We can continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. Strike ball of light coming your way! statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm, Still make light bridges. Now the light helps wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Yeah. Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Than I remember. 
Another light door. There's a twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? If that fray are not abandoned, the realm of the lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths, regardless of where they end. This way. We're almost there.